Hello, I'm Artifacts of Mars. And Salon.com is preparing to sell itself to a uh, activist hedge fund. Now, Salon.com, if you're not familiar, is a wacko left of sight. They're, they're way on the left. They're ultra-liberal, ultra-progressive. Same old, same old media. You know, old Hate America Club and Hate Trump and so forth. Probably loved Hillary, Hologram Hillary's deplorables comment. Salon Media, one of the most tra one of the trailblazing pioneers of digital publishing that has struggled in recent years, is on the brink of selling controlling state to activist investor Spearpoint Capital Sources Tall Media Inc. Spearpoint will then use its control salon to make a run at Jim Cramer's TheStreet.com. One person familiar with the plan said. I've never heard of the street. The street is a publicly traded company and Spearpoint, which owns 4.9% stake, has been lobbying for board seats. Would not take won't take much cash for Spearpoint to buy a controlling stake in Salon. The twenty two year old digital publishing enterprise which has been plagued by high-level turnover in the executive and editorial side, as well as declining revenue, good, as a market capitalization of only $6.1 million and a stock price of $0.08 cents a share. <laughs> it's a penny stock. I love it. At its IPO in 1999, the stock was... Ten dollars and fifty cents a share with market cap of one hundred five million. Spearpoint has been quietly mapping, snapping up Salon Media Group shares in recent weeks. Sources say sounds like a hostile takeover. Ron Bienvenu, head of Spearpoint. So we are actively seeking investment in the digital media space. We are actively seeking a public platform with the right management team to bring a modern management mindset to the digital industry. He declined to comment on any possible interest in Salon. In late May, former NBC News producer turned venture capitalist Jordan Hoffner was named CEO after the board ousted Cindy Jellers, Jeffers, who held a job for the previous five years. Editor-in-Chief David Daly left in June. Salam was founded by David Talbot and a handful of refugees from the San Francisco Examiner in 1995. Well, I came from San Francisco. That tells you everything. It spawned such writers as Jake Tapper, now at CNN, The Intercept co-founder Glenn Greenwald, former editor-in-chief Joan Walsh, now at MSNBC, and Alex Green went on to edit now defunct Gawker.com. In the run-up to the 26th election cycle, it was relentlessly pro-Bernie Sanders and just as relentlessly anti-Hillary, hologram Hillary, which angered some of his former staffers. Loeffler could not be reached for comment at press time. Well, I'm publicly making an offer to Salon.com. I'll, uh, Buy your site. This is Artifacts of Mars offering to buy your site for one dollar. That's about all you're worth. 
<laughs> Eat it, libs. I think why that filthy piece of dirt is going downhill. A penny stock. Yes! Well, <laughs> goodbye. I have it goes into the dust in the uh, garbage heap of history. I'm Artifacts Mars. Thanks for watching.